Although there are dozens of grains now available at the supermarket, most can be cooked the same way, simmering. The difference between the grains is the amount of water that we use. Now when it comes to simmering grains, the two most prevalent and handiest methods are the absorption method and the pilaf method. And we'll explore both today working with long grain rice. Now with most applications, we start by rinsing long grain rice. And this will rid it of most surface starches so that the grains can cook up fluffy and separate. And it's very simple to do. Just place the rice in a mesh strainer and then rinse it under running water. Just like that. And it's a good idea to go ahead and swish the grains around with your hands. And then as you go, go ahead and tilt the strainer to get rid of all excess water. Now, some rice can be very starchy, so it's a good idea to rinse the grains until the water runs completely clear. And again, get rid of any excess water, and that's rinsing. Now, quinoa is also rinsed to wash off a naturally occurring bitter tasting compound that coats the grains, but you do want to check the package because sometimes some brands are pre-rinsed. Now, not all grains need this extra step. For example, short grain rice or wild rice or pearl barley, not to mention wheat berries can be used straight out of their package. Now, with the rice rinsed, we'll run through the absorption method. Now, this is perfect for when you don't want to blend any flavors into the grains. Think of white rice served with a stir fry, for instance. So we start by simmering the grains nice and slow in a specific amount of liquid, and that depends on the particular grain. By the time the grains are tender, they will have absorbed all of the cooking liquid. So the first thing we do is put the grains right into a saucepan, nice big one, along with the liquid, specified amount, and salt. And we like to use a half a teaspoon of table salt per cup of grains. So again, that all goes into a heavy bottom saucepan. Just mix it up. There we go. And then we bring it all to the boil over medium high heat. Now once the mixture is boiling, we reduce the heat to low, and pretty much as low as your burner can get, as long as it maintains a gentle simmer. Now this will give the grains plenty of time to absorb the water. Then we want to cover the pot with a tight fitting lid, there we go, and simmer the grains until they are tender. Now I mentioned the tight fitting lid because every last bit of moisture that's in the pot needs to stay in there in order for the grains to cook through. But also, if too much moisture escapes, the mixture can dry out very quickly and actually burn on the bottom of the pot. Now, if your lids are less than tight or may have been banged around the kitchen quite a bit, you want to put a piece of foil under the lid to trap in the moisture. So after the grains are tender and the liquid is all absorbed, we go ahead and take the pot off heat and let it stand, but still covered, for about 10 to 15 minutes to finish cooking. Now, for really fluffy rice, you want to use a kitchen towel to absorb any moisture that may be clinging to that lid. So before serving, all that we have to do is fluff the grains of rice with a fork. There we go, and there should be all nice and separate, tender, and ready to eat. So that's the absorption method. Let's just put the lid on, we'll move this off to the side. We'll check out the peel-off method. Now this time the grains are first cooked in hot butter or oil before the liquid is added. And this method imparts a toasted nutty flavor and a rich texture to the dish. So to start off, we heat butter or oil, and we like to use two teaspoons per cup of raw grains, that's a good rule, in a large saucepan over medium heat. There we go, so let's get that oil heated up. Now once the fat is heated, we go ahead and stir in the grains just like that, and we keep moving them around. Now at first they may stick to the pan, but after about three minutes they will be well coated with the fat and stop sticking. Now the grains will also start to turn a little bit opaque, and it's easier to see with rice than most other grains. All right, so now that the rice is coated with fat and it looks a little bit opaque, it's time to add in the liquid, and we want to add in the amount that's specified in the recipe. There we go, along with salt to season the grains. Again, a half a teaspoon of salt per cup of grains is ideal. There we go. Then we crank up the heat so that it all comes to a boil and it shouldn't take that long. Now once it's at the boil, we can go ahead and turn down the heat to low and cover the pot. Again, deal with your lid if it's not tight fitting. And we simmer the grains until they are tender and most of the liquid should be absorbed. Now when all that moisture has been absorbed, Finally, as before, we go ahead and let the covered pot stand off heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
and then we fluff it with a fork to serve. And you can see that the grains of rice are well separated. And if you taste a forkful, you'll notice a heartier flavor as well. So cooking grains, that's all there is to it.